So hello everyone welcome back to another one of my vlogs so today i have a really exciting video for you guys i'm going to be giving loki's cage a christmas makeover so at the moment if you can see behind me his cage still has a halloween setup and today is the first of december so it's about time that we actually give his cage a wonderful festive makeover i'm actually having a chill day at home today so i'm in my pajamas and i've got a robe on so just ignore whatever i'm wearing i thought it'd be really nice to just share with you guys how I'm going to set up Loki's cage for Christmas because I know a lot of you um, absolutely love watching these kind of videos. I thought I would quickly show you two new um, additions that I have. Because it's getting quite cold now, I decided to get a thermometer um, for Loki's cage um, so that I could see how cold my room gets because my room can get really cold. So this is what the thermometer looks like. It's really cute. So it's currently at 23 degrees. Um, this is quite a nice steady temperature. So that way if it gets too cold, I know that I need to heat up my room a little bit um, because if it's too cold, it can be quite bad um, for your hamsters because they can go into hibernation and a lot of people um, might think that their hamsters are dead, but in fact, that they're just hibernating so i also got this little heater um i found this on amazon it was less than 20 pounds whenever my room gets too cold i just pop this on for a couple of minutes and it warms up my room the built-in thermostat as well so if you set it to a certain temperature it turns off automatically and then once the room drops below that temperature you set it to then turns on again to you know heat up the room um, so this is great. It's really nice and compact as well. Um, it's easy to store and it's easy to set up really, really quickly. This is what it looks like once you um, plug it in and turn it on. So it's currently on 30 degrees, which is the highest heat and it warms up super, super, super quickly. I just thought I would share this with you guys. It might be handy for some of you if you're in a little room that can get quite cold in the winter. So this is Loki's current setup. Um, it is quite a mess. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be spot cleaning his cage. So because I only set up Loki's cage about a month ago, um, I'm not going to take out the bed. I'm actually going to keep it in there and I'm going to put some fresh bedding on top. So I'm going to be using some white hair fresh. I was going to remove all the substrate and just fill it up with like a white paper-based bedding, but I thought it would just be a waste because he's only had that substrate in for a short amount of time. These are the bags of care fresh I decided to get. It's just the white one. And I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use all three bags. I might only use two, but I got three bags just in case. And here I've got spread out the Christmas items that I want to try and include in Loki's cage. I'm going to go through some of them really quickly. So this is um, a train which I got from Pets at Home about two years ago. Um, this over here is a gingerbread tea light holder, which I got last year from uh, Wilco. And there's a little entrance behind there. I've got these two tea light holders, which are from Poundland. They do some amazing tea light holders. So I got this one a couple of years ago. I think I got the Santa one last year. And I have these four Christmas tubes, which I've collected over the years from Pets at Home. Um, I have this adorable gingerbread um, man, which I got maybe two years ago from Pets at Home. And also this rosewood um, Christmas pudding hideaway, which I also got. About two years ago I've also got this Christmassy garland which is super super cute and over here I have this heart shaped dish which I got from Tiger a few years ago when I was out Christmas shopping with Lily in central London um, and this is going to be a sand dish and then I have this polka dot food dish which I'm going to be putting his food in however I also have this star dish so I might put this in his cage as well here we have two packs of gel things I do use these every year but i've got two new packs which i'm going to be using um i've got a pack of these furnishable stickers from last year this is the festive cheer one so i've got a pack of their new stickers they're so cute because they're all the little um animal characters they've created my favorite is the fox the cat and the rabbit like look how cute that rabbit is and here i've got some christmas cookie um letters that spell out loki's name uh, which are also from furnishables but you'll see these at the end once i've decorated the cage so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to try and find out where loki is and pop him in this um carrier if you're wondering where this carrier is from it is from uh pets at home so i'm not actually too sure where he's sleeping at the moment so he's not in his um pouch this is the pouch from dainty paws um i think he's either in the purple tube or he might actually be 
under here no he's not under there found him he's actually sleeping in the tube at the moment so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start taking the stuff off the outside of the cage and taking out the stuff from inside the cage and then if loki wakes up and starts walking around then i'm just gonna pop him in the carrier because there's no point of me just waking him up now um if he's not in the way i almost forgot to mention um but a few years ago i bought this hanging christmas tree um chew toy which is by rosewood because in both of my cages i can't really hang certain things up so i decided to cut off the twine and I actually used a hot glue gun to glue it onto this little piece of wood so it actually stands up in his cage like a Christmas tree and then today I decided to do the same with this one so this is also by Rosewood but this is a loofah one and it is super super cute and I've just glued it onto this little plank of wood so Loki has his very own Christmas tree which is really 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 cute I actually sells some of these uh Christmas products on my website it's called tinyhamsterfalls.com I'll have it linked below So far I've removed most of the items that I don't want to have in this Christmas theme. So I've just removed um, this purple tube and I've replaced it with one of the Christmas tube. Right, so this is a great extendable tube. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is start evening out the bedding um, and then I'm going to start putting the care fresh on top. So I've just finished setting up the inside of Loki's cage. So I've just filled up his food dish and it's got a really nice mixture of different things in there. So I'm just going to pop his food dish here and then I'm going to use this little star dish for things like fresh fruit and vegetables. And this gingerbread little hanging decoration which I got from Wilco last year. So it's now time to actually pop stickers on the outside of the cage. 